from top secret nuclear silos to forgotten airfields. These are seven abandoned military bases in Europe. Number seven, the Forbidden City, Germany. A statue of Lenin stands deep within a pine forest in East Germany, guarding a yellow-colored building that has hosted everyone from Kaiser Wilhelm II to the Nazis and the Soviets. In the tranquil district of Wunsdorf, the abandoned military facility, part of the Forbidden City, sits behind a massive padlocked gate. Since the fall of the Iron Curtain, this building has remained unoccupied. The entire base became the Soviet forces headquarters in East Germany during the communist era. It was the largest Soviet camp outside of the USSR at the time, with close to 75,000 troops stationed there at its height. The military settlement was known as Die Verbotenstad, because locals were not allowed to go in. Considering that estimates put around 500,000 Soviet troops in all of East Germany, it makes sense that the secret headquarters would house so many of them. It all came to heel in 1989 with the collapse of the Soviet Union. With German reunification, it was only a matter of time before all of the Russian troops had to leave. By 1994, the Forbidden City, or Little Moscow, was completely abandoned when the last troops left. Since then, it has been transformed as the Wunsdorf Wallstadt town. However, parts of it remain derelict, with obvious remnants of the Soviet occupation. Number 6. Veshchevo Airfield, Russia. Well, this might be more of a story than a place, really. Veshchevo Airfield is located in Leningrad Oblast, close to the Finnish border, and was actually under Finnish control before the Winter War in 1939. The airfield had about 45 Sukhoi Su-17s stationed there, which were under the control of the 66th Independent Naval Sturmovik Aviation Regiment. On March 8, 1988, one of the strangest things happened here. Aeroflot Flight 3739, a domestic passenger flight from Irkutsk, to Leningrad, now known as St. Petersburg, made an emergency refueling landing here. Why the emergency? Well, the flight was hijacked by the Ovechkin family, who were looking for a way out of the Soviet Union. The Ovechkins were a family of 12, mother Nina, her seven sons, and four daughters. Her sons were actually the members of the music band Seven Simeons. Following a band tour in Japan, the Ovechkins decided to leave the Soviet Union and settle abroad, so 11 of them decided to hijack a plane. When the pilots landed at the base with the pretense of refueling, things did not go smoothly for anyone involved. I won't mention any details, but it wasn't pretty. I'll probably make a follow-up video if there's enough interest, so let me know. Number 5. Jeleva Air Base, Croatia Hey, you missed that one base that's in all the other videos I've seen. Alrighty then, here it is, the Jeleva Air Base. This place was considered one of the scariest bases in former Yugoslavia. It was the largest air base it had and one of the largest in Europe. It is believed the base held two full fighter squadrons. The more interesting part of the base was the underground bunkers, capable of surviving 20 kiloton nuclear blasts and being self-sustainable for up to 30 days. After it was apparent that the Yugoslav Wars of 91 were not going their way, the airbase was destroyed by the Yugoslavian government. Nowadays, it is sometimes used for police training, but its primary purpose is an awesome urban exploration spot. Number 4. Klokstein Missile Base, Lithuania This place is pretty wild. What we're looking at here are silos for the SS-4 Sandal, known as the R-12 in Russia. This rocket provided the Soviet Union with the capability to attack targets at medium ranges with a megaton-class thermonuclear warhead, and constituted the bulk of the Soviet offensive missile threat to Western Europe. Fun side fact, the R-12 missiles were also deployed to Cuba, causing the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. The location of these silos was perfect. It could reach all of the European NATO members and Turkey. There were no big towns or even villages around the area, and the soil was very easy to work with. 
The silos and surrounding army bases took two years to complete. The base was considered to be above top secret, and for good reason too. The USA did not actually find out about it until 1978. Eventually, like everything else in the Soviet bloc, with the fall of the Union, this nuclear silo base was abandoned. At least they took the nukes with them. I hope. In 2012, after extensive reconstruction, the former base became a Cold War museum. They even let you go into one of the four silos. I would love to visit one day. How about you? Number 3. Brienne Airfield, France This military airfield was opened in 1913 and was used by the French Air Force until the Nazi invasion in 1940. During and after the war, the airfield was barely used. From 1953 to 1965, it served as an operational base of NATO. Since the 80s, the airport has been used for leisure activities. What's interesting is that you can find a nice assortment of abandoned military aircraft here, including a Fuga CM-170 Magister that has definitely seen better days. Also, this beautiful Lockheed P-2 Neptune. Overall, this place is pretty accessible, and it seems like anyone can take a peek around the abandoned airplanes. Number 2. RAF Stenigot, England Unfortunately, this is not the site of a downed UFO. As much as we want to believe the truth is out there, this is not it. RAF is an acronym for the British Royal Air Force, and the Stenigot site was a radar station used for the early detection of air raids. After the war, the Stanigot got a major facelift, including the four dishes that we see in these pictures. It was all under the ACE High program. ACE High stands for Allied Command Europe, and it was a radio communication system created by NATO in 1956. Another ACE High location is tucked away in the mountains of northern Italy, the ACE High station Livorno Monte Giogo. The fixed service NATO radio communication system had 82 stations in 9 countries all over Europe. There were 18 stations in Italy alone. By 1980, the program was completely shut down due to the advent of satellite communication, and for the most part, each Ace High site was abandoned without a care in the world. But still, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Number 1. Rangsdorf Airfield, Germany the Rangsdorf airfield was built in the mid-1930s as a sports airfield, its main purpose being the 1936 Summer Olympics in Berlin. The convenient proximity to the imperial capital and the Rangsdorf lake, as well as the flat nature of the area, offered ideal conditions for this. This is actually the airfield from which Klaus von Stauffenberg and Werner von Haften left to visit the Wolf's Lair on July 20th, 1944. You see, Klaus and Werner tried to assassinate Hitler and remove the Nazi party from power. Alas, their plan failed. After the war, the airfield was taken over by the Soviets. Later on, in the course of the Soviet troop withdrawal from Germany, about 200 aircraft and helicopters that could no longer be transported were scrapped in 1990 to 1993. The buildings, which could only be poorly maintained during the Soviet period due to the constant shortage of materials, subsequently suffered additional damage from the effects of the weather and vandalism. Large parts of the furnishings that had been left behind were stolen, and the roofs of the halls and outbuildings were partially collapsed. Since 2018, there are plans for a complete overhaul of the airfield. So if you want to see it in its abandoned beauty, you should do it now. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.